In this video, I'm going to show you how to allocate books to your class and how you can monitor your students' progress as they work through the embedded comprehension activities. From the home page, select Bug Club. From this screen, click on the Bug Club tile. The area that you're now looking at is where you can find all of your Bug Club resources. Under the series filter, make sure you place a tick by Bug Club. Next, decide how you want to search for your books. I'd like to search according to year. This means that I can now look for books which will be age appropriate for year two students. You'll notice that you can further refine your search. We've got term, genre and type filters. I'm going to look for books which are recommended for the spring term, but leave the other boxes unchecked. I can decide to allocate individual titles or multiple titles to my students. To allocate a single book, I click on the title of the book and a pop-up window appears. You'll notice there are four options here. I can open the book to preview the content or I can just go straight to allocate. In this window, we've got two drop downs. I can allocate to my class, group or cohort. And from this drop down, I can select my class. By placing a tick in this box, I'm ensuring that all my students receive the allocated text or I can go and select individual students. At the bottom of the screen, you'll notice two checkboxes. Please note that the Read to Me feature only exists in the reception to year two books. If you prefer, both of these boxes can be unchecked before clicking on the Allocate button. That book now will appear on a pupil's Active Learner homepage ready for them to read. If I wanted to allocate multiple books to those students, all I need to do is place a tick by the books. This time I go to the top of the screen and I click on allocate and it takes me back to the allocation window and I repeat the process, selecting class or individual pupils. So how do we check the progress of the students with the books that they've been allocated? To do that, we need to go to the home screen, select Bug Club again, but this time we're going to click on the activity reporting tile. The view that you can see here is the class level view of the pupils reading activity. And using this drop down menu, I can view class, group or cohort. My class has automatically appeared. And from this drop down, I can choose the period of time that I'd like to view the activity for. So currently it's set to one week. Looking at this pupil here, we can see the number of books read in one week and the number of quizzes completed. We can also see their progress in terms of how well they performed with the embedded quizzes. So for example, the green quizzes indicate that the student answered correctly on their first attempt. Those quizzes coming up as amber indicate those they answered correctly on the second or third attempt, so 40% in this case. And for the red quizzes, those quizzes which the student answered incorrectly, even after three attempts. Clicking on individual student's name provides more detailed picture of their performance for all of the books read. Here we can see we've got coloured circles, which when you hover over them, indicate the skill focus. So in this particular case, the quizzes have been ordered, sorted by ordering the books. So quiz number one, the focus was themes and conventions. Quiz number two was literal com comprehension and number three was inference. 
The colours indicate the success. So amber, the student two attempts to get the correct answer. Green, they got it correct on the first attempt. And red, it took three attempts and they still didn't get the correct answer. Some of the circles you'll notice have a hyperlink. So here, if I hover over this circle, it comes up as responding to the text. But we can see a line underneath and we have it again here and here. If you click on this circle, you'll see that that particular quiz required the student to write an answer. So here's their answer. And as a teacher, I can respond to that student as well. In the bottom corner of the screen, you have the option to grade that student's response. So here I've given it an amber grading. And if I'm happy with that, I can now click on save. 